Subaru Pacific takes six adventurous Aussies on an epic trip to Shargau. That's so good. <laughs> this is Subaru Pacific's Fun Budget Shargau. Welcome to Shargau. Shargau Island. Oh, here we are. The boardwalk itself is very impressive. Kind of look down the end of the boardwalk and there were these massive waves. The waves were probably the biggest I've ever seen. You can just see why Cloud9 is actually famous. Pinaka favorite ko yung Cloud9. Babarit talaga siya. Sa akin nga yung Cloud9 parang simbahan ko na yun. Kasi maganda siya ng alon pero nandun yung danger mo eh. Kahit ikikwento ko siguro sa ibang tao, hindi nila maintindihan eh. Pero yung soul ko talaga, talagang masaya. They kind of took us through the basics of how to surf, got us laying down on the boards, how to stand up. We're off to Cloud9, one of the best surfing spots in the world, to test it out for ourselves. How do you think we'll do for? I think we're going to carve up some waves. We're out here surfing. Honestly, the waves were pretty overwhelming at the start. Quite terrifying as beginner surfers. It's one of the best feelings <laughs> in the world when you're finally up there. And you're like, I'm standing. <laughs> It was really, really addictive. Yeah, it's like Like, as soon ecstasy. as you stood up, it was like, let's get on the next wave. I was serving and I like looked behind me for the first time and it was like purple and pink and people were just paddling in the clear blue water. Man, that sun behind you is looking ridiculous right now. It is so tiring, but so much fun. And who knows, after a bit of practice, maybe we'll be back and conquering the big waves. <laughs> it's like a pure sense of freedom the best beach I've been to. It was paradise. Always is a good time with some cocktails. Mm -hmm. It's really low key. Good for us as friends to interact and hang out. No shoes, no worries, really. Yeah. <laughs> it felt like going home. It felt like it was your house or your friend's house or something like that. It was at that moment that I realized that I could just live on Chargao forever. That house party was a lot of fun. It was so cool that everyone could hang out with the locals and just party. And there was Balut. It's really hot. I don't think it's as bad as everyone says it is. You know, we met people from all over the world. You just feel like a family with all these people. Island hopping was a lot of fun. We are just passing through the bluest and clearest waters that I've ever seen. I'd never really seen anything quite like it. It was just this white mass of sand in the middle of the ocean. Just like a little slice of paradise. So then we went to the second island. Uh, we had a beautiful traditional lunch. A personal banquet, pretty much. Yeah. Banana leaves and rice and tuna and chicken and pork and fruit. It's pretty like liberating just being able to grab whatever food you want with your hand and stick it straight in your mouth. Personally, that's my favorite way to eat food. All right, we're out here in the local village. We're about to go hit up the scooters and go for a bit of an island scooter round. Yeah, they're called Habal Habal. Habal Habal. <laughs> I have made a bunch of new friends. I've seen a bunch of new islands. The people are what make the Philippines. Everyone knows they've got such a beautiful island. It's because the locals actually want to embrace you into the culture and they want to show it off to you. Fly Cebu Pacific from Sydney to Shargao, Philippines from $278. Take surf lessons with board rental for as low as $20. Go island hopping with a seafood lunch for as low as $8.
Grab a drink for as low as $2. Rent a scooter for as low as $7. Live the beach bum life with Cebu Pacific.